Hello friends, it's Jerry with Black Salt Audio and welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to try something a little different. I wanted to talk about imposter syndrome. What is imposter syndrome? Well, Healthline.com puts it as feelings of self-doubt and personal incompetence that persist despite your education, experience, and accomplishments. Now, you're probably asking yourself how much of this actually relates to Black Salt Audio. Well, everything really. Let me state that it's been such a pleasure to be a part of the BSA team, and what makes it even greater is that I was already a fan of Jordan's work and the plugins before I even joined. A big part of the appeal was how simple and intuitive the plugins are. I mean, you have escalator, one knob, low control, compress this frequency and enhance that one, done. Oxygen, silky smooth top end without the harshness. Even Telefy, our most complicated plugin to date, is extremely easy to use. And as they should be, right? As our slogan states, better sounds simplified. But I get in my head a lot, as I'm sure a lot of you do too. And going back to our definition of imposter syndrome, feelings of self-doubt and personal incompetence despite your education, experience, and accomplishments. What I'm getting at is that sometimes I'm using wonderful products like this, and I think to myself, damn, do I even know what I'm doing? Is this cheating? Swiss or Cheater. 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 By the way, we've been growing a ton here on the BSA YouTube channel in a very short amount of time, and we're eternally grateful, and we want to give back to you as a thank you. Exclusive to our YouTube subscribers, there's a link in the description where you can get 25% off of BSA Clipper, another insanely easy plugin to use. All you have to do is input your name and your email address, and you'll be on your merry way. Going back to feeling like a cheater. They didn't have to cheat. 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 Cheat like you, Jerry. Cheater, 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 cheater. Is that thought process really justified? Is it really cheating using plugins like this? The cheetah. Cheetah. Cheater. 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 I mean, if I didn't believe in the company like I do, I would be very concerned if my answer was anything other than no. It's not really so much cheating as it is convenience. Because here's the thing, no amount of fancy plugins or software are gonna cover up the most important factor in all of this. Good source tones, and of course, great mixing. The same way that I use amp modelers for my guitar tones or that you might use compressor plugins and such based on actual hardware. Yeah, I might not have a block letter 5150, and you might not have an 1176 at your disposal, but with the convenience of modern technology getting better all the time, we now have access to these tools. And with plugins like the ones here at BSA, it's just streamlining that process even further. What would take five or six plugins to do, we can now do in one or two. Check out this clip from one of Jordan's videos where he talks about using low control. So our bass is like a bass frequency enhancer, harmonic generator, and typically I would use it on naturally bass tracks something like this he got a mouth full of words for everyone else making letters just generate some extra harmonics to help bass sound a little fatter and bigger on smaller speakers now what's replaced that is actually one of the black salt audio plugins called low control and this actually does two jobs i used to use our bass and then wave c4 to control the low end in like a multi-band compression fashion and now low control actually does both of these things and I think it does both of them better. So let's check this out. So this plugin compresses the low end. In this case, everything below 90 Hertz it's compressing. And then I can use this knob to turn that frequency range up or down. But for what we're talking about here, the part that's been replaced is the frequency enhancer, which again, does a similar thing to our base, obviously slightly different processing and algorithm and everything. And I actually think it does a better job of it. You can really hear how that's just making the bass sound a little bigger, a little fatter. Useful on kicks as well. So that's the next one that's been replaced. Our bass has now become low control. As you can see, something like low control is a really great tool. 
It's replaced his workflow of having to use a harmonic saturator in conjunction with a multiband compressor for his bass tones. But that doesn't necessarily get rid of having to learn about multiband compression and how to use it. It's still very much a technique that's widely used on various parts of any mix. We as engineers have put in the time, we are educated, we have experience, and we've accomplished a lot. But I don't think I'm alone in saying that sometimes we doubt ourselves. I know I have. Aside from these BSA videos, I run my own YouTube channel where I demo guitars and gear, and I get in my head a lot there too. Sometimes I'm in the middle of working on a project and I think to myself, gee, what authority do I have on dictating what makes a piece of gear worth having? Or why would anyone watch one of my videos when this other person has way more subscribers than me and forgetting the most important thing, doing it because I want to and putting my all into it. Anytime I want to learn about a piece of gear, I turn to YouTube and I look up a video on it. And that process has helped me so much and saved me from spending my hard earned cash that I wanted to do that too and hopefully help people looking for the same thing, whether it's on my channel or here on the BSA one. But where does this line of thinking come from? Well, it could be things like being talked down to, getting a nasty comment, or simply just comparing ourselves to others. But that's so silly. I saw a meme once that perfectly captured the reality of all of that. It's of someone who sets down a cake that they've made next to a much nicer and bigger cake that someone else made and is immediately discouraged by it. And then someone else walks in and is just stoked that there's even two cakes to begin with. And speaking of cake, that's exactly what these tools are. It's the icing on the cake. It's the extra 10% that's gonna push your mix over the edge and take it to the next level. It's not about how much bigger or better something is or feeling like you're cheating. I'm cheating. In the end, it's always gonna be about the quality of the work. Speaking of SpongeBob, anyone remember the episode where King Neptune and him have a cook-off? King Neptune ends up making like a bajillion burgers and SpongeBob only makes one. But in the end, all of King Neptune's burgers were nasty and SpongeBob's ended up being the best and came out on top. The gear simply does not make the man. Don't ever feel down on yourself because someone is farther along than you are or that you could never hope to get there one day because the truth is there's always gonna be some jackass out there telling you that you're doing it the wrong way or you're not doing it the real way or the right way and that's just such a limited way of thinking. That's like if I said you were cheating for using a digital audio workstation and that you should be doing everything on a four track. What? And if you are someone who is farther along, Educate, don't condescend. We should be using our resources to its fullest potential and honing in on our craft. Focus on the things that make you great and different. Mixing should be a fun and creative process and I hope Black Salt Audio has helped with that. Now, I forget who said this and I'm gonna kick myself for not crediting them, but you wouldn't discredit an artist for using various paintbrushes to get their work done, right? It would be ludicrous to expect them to do it all with one sized brush. So please, don't feel like an imposter or that you're cheating. You're gonna get there if you put in the time. Trust the process, learn your craft, and never have the urge to stop growing. Anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Have any of you ever felt this way? What do you do to combat this? Also, what did you think about this style of video? Again, we wanted to try something new, so let us know if you liked it or not, because if you didn't, um, I'll never make a video like this ever again. Don't forget that you can get 25% off BSA Clipper by using the link in the description. It's a win-win scenario. Not only do you get a great deal, but you'll also get emails about exclusive discount codes and flash sales, so keep an eye out. We have new videos here every week, so why not consider subscribing and leaving a like while you're at it. We mentioned low control in this video, so why not check out this video on creating a metal bass tone from scratch? Or check out this playlist on our newest plugin, Telefy, the only one solution to creating the classic telephone lo-fi effect. And if there are other video topics that you'd like us to tackle in the future, be sure to comment down below and let us know what you'd like to see next. Until then, I've been Jerry, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya!